hello everyone welcome to coding with ivan so in today's video we're going to make a food recipe application with rest api we're going to use a free api for that and our app will look something like this i have already created this app and upload on play store you can also check that from play store so let me open that app so it will now load some random recipes on our home screen there we have some categories let's search for uh, dessert okay there is all the dessert items all right so let's uh, quickly select any one of them let's select this one okay and inside here we are getting the image the description some similar recipes to that and a step-by-step -step guide of uh, this recipe and also those ingredients of the recipe okay also you can see the nutrition chart of this recipe if i click on this see nutrition chart button it will show us the nutrition chart all right so let's quickly make this application so at first let me show you the api that we're going to use to make this app so here is the api this is the sponacular api i'll give the link of this api in the description from there you can visit that and after visiting this site we have to click on this start now and we have to create a free account here so let me quickly fill up my email id and create a new account okay so it's saying success please check your email and confirm your account okay so let me quickly visit my gmail and uh, confirm my account and after confirming we have to just log in again from here so I'll click on login and i'll click on login button here all right so here is our api dashboard and from here we will manage our api calls we will get all the urls that we need and our api key also so before that let me go to my android studio and here as you can see i've already opened a new project called recipe app so here i'll just add the dependencies for retrofit because we're going to use retrofit to manage the api calls so for this we have to add the dependency for retrofit so here is the github repository of uh, retrofit i'll also give these links in the description make sure you check that so from here at first we'll copy this dependency for retrofit I'll just copy this and go back to Android Studio and then I'll open the Gradle scripts and inside I'll go to the build Gradle file of the module level and inside here under these dependencies I'll paste that dependency that we just copied okay so before we will write implementation and inside a quotation I'll paste this dependency let me zoom in a bit okay and after that we need to also add the dependency for the json converter of retrofit so also we'll get it from here this link will be also given in the description from there we'll copy this dependency go back to android studio and after this i'll paste that and here instead of this latest dot version we'll just give the uh, latest version of retrofit and during the time of making this video the current version of retrofit is 2.9.0 okay so i'm just copying this and i'll paste it here and after that we need another dependency called picasso another library called picasso and we have to add the dependency for that also so we need picasso to load images from the url so for this we'll go to the github repository of picasso i'll also give the link in the description so from there we'll just copy this dependency from here and get back to android studio and paste it after this okay so after you uh, added these three dependencies you can click on sync now and wait for the Gradle build to complete so once it's done we can close our griddle uh, file and we can start working on our main app so to manage the api call we are going to create a separate class so here i'll just right click on the package and create a new java class i'll call this as request manager okay 
so here you got the request manager class and inside here we'll create our retrofit object and we'll also create an object for the context so let's do that i'll create a context object i'll call this context and then i'll create a new retrofit object so retrofit uh, let's call this as retrofit equals new retrofit dot uh, sorry retrofit dot builder and then we'll add the base url we'll do that later then i'll write dot add converter factory and here we'll pass new sorry not new we'll pass json converter factory dot create and after that we'll go to the new line and we'll write dot build okay and we'll put a semicolon here at the end and after creating this objects we'll create a constructor for this request manager class so i'll just right click here click on generate click on constructor and i'll only select the context from here we won't select retrofit we'll only select the context and click on ok so here we got the request manager uh, constructor and now let's go to the api documentation to see the api url endpoints so for this we have to click on this my console from our api website and from here okay we're already in the console so we'll click on this uh, docs and full documentation okay so here we got all the uh, endpoints that we can use there are lots of endpoints and we can perform lots of queries we'll just add a uh, few of them in our application okay so at first we will search for the get random uh, random recipes api endpoint so this is somewhere here search recipes nutrition ingredients here get random recipes so we'll click on here and this is the url for the random uh, recipes and these are the parameters that we can pass with this uh, url there's a limit license uh, there we can pass also some tags like vegetarian dessert or main course etc and we can also pass a number uh, this number should be uh, the number of random recipes to be returned and this should be between 1 and 100 okay we'll take care of that all right so let's at first add the url so as you can see it's a get method and uh, this is the base url okay so we'll just copy this part of the url first so i'm copying this and we'll go back to our android studio and here inside this base url we'll paste that url that we just copied which is uh, till this sponagular.com slash okay and now we need to create a separate uh, interface for the random recipe api call so for this i'll go after here and i'll create a new private interface i'll call this as call random uh, random recipes okay and then inside the body of that interface we'll create a new method but before that we have to um, create a model class for the api response so let's quickly check the response json of that uh, get random recipes api so here again go to the documentation and here we have a example request response okay but it it's not showing anything so let's manually test that so for this we will open postman here oops postman uh, let's wait for this to open all right and here we'll create a new workspace and inside here we'll uh, pass our api url so as you can see here the method is get so inside a postman i have passed the method as get and then we have to pass the url so let's copy this one copy 
go to postman paste it here okay as you can see it already took the keys here the number is one the tags are vegetarian and desert okay so let's only keep desert here uh, desert okay and then uh, if we call the api from postman right now it should show an error okay it says you are not authorized so that is because we need to pass the um, api key with this uh, url so for this uh, authentication guide we have to go all the way down here inside this guides then we'll click on this authentication here let's open this on a new tab i'll right click on it okay we can't open it on a new tab we'll just click on it here and as you can see it says uh, once you have your api key you have to put it in a request url for every request you make like so uh, okay we have to pass the api key as the parameter called api key in order to get the api key we will just go to my console from here and here we'll click on profile and here we have our api key so if you click on this show or hide api key your api key will be shown here uh, so make sure you create your own account and use that because if you use my api key it won't work for you because the api hits are limited so i'll click on this show or hide api key and i'll just copy this one okay and we'll paste it inside our um, android studio so let's go to android studio and from here we'll uh, open the rest folder inside the values inside the strings.xml right after this app name we'll create another string we'll call this as api underscore key and here we'll paste the key that we copied from the website okay and after that we can again go to our spoonagular api website and from there we'll again go to the full documentation and we'll go to the uh, get random recipes and from here uh, okay so let's go to postman again and here now that we have got our api key we can pass that so as you can see inside the documentation if i go again inside the authentication we have to pass our api key like this the name will be api key here the k is capital okay so i'm just copying this one copy go back to postman and here i'll add this as a new key and for the value we'll uh, pass our api key that we just uh, added into our android studio so i'll just copy this Control c and i'll open sorry open postman and here i'll paste that and then if we click on send as you can see it got all the random recipes okay cool so now that we got the uh, response json we can create a model class from this so for this i'll just uh, copy all the json from here so what i'll do here is i'll just click on somewhere here and uh, hit all uh, control a to select all of them and control c to copy and then we'll uh, go to chrome and search for a website called json to c sharp okay so let's do that json to c sharp okay json to c sharp and then i'll just uh, paste our code here paste our uh, json file right here that we copied from the postman okay and then we won't convert this to c sharp we need to convert this to java class so i'll click on here json to java this one i'll click here and again we need to paste that so i'll paste our json file again and then we'll click on convert here and as you can see we got the um, java class for this response so let's create 
uh, a model class inside our Android Studio. So I'll minimize this and let's close this strings.xml and here we need to create a model class but uh, before that I'll create a new package here to store the models. So I'll right click on the package name create a new package. I'll call this as models hit enter and inside this models we'll uh, create our class okay so for this at first uh, let's start from okay 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 so let's start from the top so here at first we got this public class us so I'll just copy this values from here Control C and go back to Android Studio and here I'll create a new Java class I'll call this as us and inside here I'll paste that okay so make sure the class name is similar as we got from the JSON all right so now I'll copy the next one which is called the metric I'll copy the name of the class first and go to Android Studio and again I'll create a new class inside this models new Java class I'll paste the name here metric hit enter and inside the class body we will pass these objects okay copy them and paste them here so like this I'll do the rest alright so we need to pass all the objects until this class called root we won't add that because this is the uh, root class so we'll add that later but before that let me go to our Android studio because we have some errors here so we have to just uh, click on this and hit alt enter and click on import class okay as you can see our error is now gone we have some more errors inside the class is called analyzed instructions so here we need to also hit alt enter and import class also in this step we need to hit alt enter and import class okay so our errors are now gone and these are all the subclasses that we need for the uh, api response and then we have a uh, we have to create another class for specifically the uh, random recipe api response okay so if we go to the website again this is the response which is a public array list of recipes so let's create another class for that and let's first go to the postman again that we tested so inside the postman as you can see uh, the response json only contains one object as you can see only one object which is um, an array list and its name is recipes so let's create that so at first we'll go to our Android studio again and we'll create another model I'll call this as um, sorry random recipe API response okay hit enter and here is our class okay this random recipe api response so inside here as you can see from the website we have only one object so let's copy this one go back to android studio and paste it here okay alt enter all right so now we can close all of the classes here so right click here and close all tabs 
so now we'll go to our request manager class here let me zoom in here so here for the uh, private interface call random recipes we have to create a new call method so i'll write call and this will be for the response for uh, random recipe api response that we just created here okay and the method name let's say call uh, random recipe okay and for the parameters we have some uh, parameters for this as you can see inside the api documentation uh, okay inside the documentation for random recipe so here as you can see for the api parameters we can pass three objects uh, the limit license tax and number so in this example we will use the tax and number but right now let's only pass the number to see if we get any response or not so i'll just copy this number from here go back to android studio and here for the parameter i'll just write an annotation called uh, query and inside the uh, parameter inside the quotation i'll paste the uh, number title that we copied from the website okay and right after this uh, parameter we'll just pass our variable so the number is a string so i'll write string let's say number okay but make sure the number or the title that you are typing here on the parameter of query is similar as what typed here inside the uh, documentation okay so it's done now and we need to also pass the api key so again i'll write at the red query and here for the api key the naming convention is right here if we again go to the authentication we'll just copy this from here copy we'll paste it here this is also a string I'll call this as API key and we have to add a comma after that all right and here is showing an error because we need to put a semicolon at the end okay and one thing we have missed here is uh, this call method is a get method as you can see for the get random recipes the method is a get method so for this we have to pass here right above this call we have to pass an annotation called get okay and at the parameter of the get we have to pass the endpoint of this url so as you can see at the base url we have written till the com slash so here at the endpoint we have to add the rest of this so we'll just copy this part from here and go back to android studio and paste it here inside a quotation all right and now we'll create another java class to access this api response uh, from our main activity but before that we'll create a listener uh, to pass this to our main activity okay so for the listeners i'll create another package so I'll right click on the package name create a new package i'll call this as listeners and inside this listeners i'll create a new java class i'll call this as uh, let's say random recipe response listener okay and that will be an interface so I'll click on interface and hit enter all right the return type of this method is void and the name of this method is uh, did fetch and here the first parameter will be uh, the let's say the uh, random api response so i'll write uh, random recipe api response i'll call this as response okay and the second parameter is the message that we got from the api so string message okay at a semicolon 
and we have to add another method for the error handling so let did error and this time we'll only pass the message that we got from the api okay so this is our interface for the listener of the api response okay so now let's go to request manager class again and here right after this constructor i'll create our method so our method is public and it is called it is the return type is void and here i'll pass i'll call this as uh, get random recipes and here for the parameter of this at first we'll pass an object of this random recipe response listener so i'll write random recipe response listener i'll call this as listener okay and the second parameter is the okay let's not pass anything here we'll do that later for the tags let's uh, add the body of this method so here i'll create an instance of this call random recipes interface so i'll write call random recipes i'll uh, name the object as call random recipes equals uh, retrofit dot create call random recipes dot class all right add a semicolon at the end and then we need to create a call object so i'll write call and this call is for the uh, random api response so random recipe api response i'll name this as call equals we need to call this object call random recipes dot call random recipe okay and here as you can see for the parameter we need to pass two objects the api key and the number so for the api key as we have stored that inside our string folder with the name api underscore key so we'll just call it from here i'll write context sorry uh, context dot uh, get string r dot string dot api key okay so that is our api key right here and the second parameter is the number so this number is the total number of random recipes that we want to uh, fetch from the api so for this example let's pass 10 here you can pass anything between 1 and 100 okay i'm passing 10 for uh, for this example only okay so add a semicolon at the end here and then we need to enqueue our call so for this i'll write call dot enq okay and we need to create a new callback so i'll write new callback for random api response and we got the on response and on failure method so at first we'll work on the on response method so here i'll check if for the uh, response is successful or not so i'll write if response dot is successful i'll add a not here at the first and inside the method body if the response is not successful in that case we'll call our listener dot did error and we'll only pass the uh, response dot message from here and after that we'll return from this if statement all right so if the response is successful in that case we'll go outside of this if statement and here we'll call our listener dot did fetch and here we need to at first pass the response so the response is from here response dot body and for the second parameter which is the message we will pass the response dot message from here again okay and after that let's go to the on failure method and here if the response is failure we will call listener dot did error and for the message we will pass the message from the throwable so i'll write here as t dot get message okay so that's it for our method so 
we can call this get random recipes method from our main activity to get all the data all right so our api calling is now done now we can work on our main activity okay but uh, okay let's start from the ui first so i'll go inside the layout folder activity underscore main dot xml i'll go to the split view and here at first okay let me adjust this uh, okay all right so at first i'll just uh, change this parent layout to a linear layout and i'll set its orientation to vertical here okay and after that i'll remove this text view from here i'll add a recycler view recycler view android x dot recycler view dot widget and here for the width i'll pass match parent height for match parent okay let's close this tag and let's give this recycler view an id i'll call this as recycler underscore um random let's give this a margin of let's say 4dp okay so that's it for our ui of main activity and after that let's create another layout file for the individual items of this recycler view so i'll right click on the layout create a new layout resource file i'll call this as uh, list underscore random underscore recipe okay click on okay and here i'll again go to the split view and let me zoom out okay so here i'll uh, change this uh, parent layout to a card view and i'll change its height to wrap content here i'll set uh, the card background color to color white color slash white okay then a cut corner radius of um, let's not add any corner radius cut elevation of 8 dp and the overall margin of 8 dp okay and then inside this card view i'll add a linear layout i'll set its width to match parent and height to wrap content here and the orientation to vertical okay and inside this linear layout we will add our image view and text views to show the information so here at first i'll add a new text view i'll set its width to match parent and height to wrap content here let's close this tag and here i'll give this text view an id i'll call this as text view underscore title okay and for the demo text i'll write here as dish name okay and let's make this in a single line so i'll line i'll write single line to true and to make this uh, and to give this a, a horizontal scrolling effect we have to add some more attributes like the ellipse size to marquee and then the marquee repeat limit to marquee forever and then the scroll horizontally to true okay and then for the uh, text style i'll pass bold here and then for the uh, text color let's create a separate color so i'll go inside the color.xml and here i'll create a new color so i'll just create a new object let's call this as uh, let's say orange and here for the color i'll just click on this one and let's select this color this one or this one okay let's go with this one you can uh, choose any color that you want so i'm selecting this and i i have written this as the name orange so i'll go to the list random recipe here 
and for the text color i'll pass at the rate color slash uh, orange okay as you can see here you got the text color and then for the uh, text size i'll pass 22 sp here okay let's give this a padding of overall 8 dp all right so as you can see this is our text view all right so now after this uh, let's add some let's add another image view to show the uh, image of that particular recipe so here i'll add a new image view image view i'll set it width to match parent and height to 200 dp here 200 dp for the image let's close the tag here and for the id of this image view i'll pass image view image view slash uh, food okay and let's set the scale type to center crop here let's give this a overall margin of 8 dp here that's okay and then under this image view we'll add a new linear layout where we'll show some more attributes like the total servings the total likes and the time uh, estimated to make this recipe so let's add that for this i'll create a new linear layout here linear layout i'll set its width to match parent height to wrap content here and this time i'll set its orientation to be horizontal okay and inside this linear layout i'll create another linear layout and this time i'll set its width to 0 dp because we're going to use weights here so the width is 0 dp and the height is here wrap content and the layout weight here is one okay so let's close this linear layout here and let's give this the orientation of vertical here okay and also the gravity of this uh, linear layout should be center and then inside this linear layout we'll add an image view and a text view so at first i'll create the image view here and the width and height of this will be wrap content okay and we don't need to uh, give any id to this image view the first one should show the uh, total serving so for this we have to create some icons so i'll go to the drawable right click on the drawable folder create click on new and uh, click on this vector asset from here i'll click on this clip art and i'll search for let's say group and i'll choose this one click on ok and i'll rename this as ic underscore servings and let's change the color to let's skip this one okay let's hit next and finish so here we got our ic underscore servings so here for the image views source image i'll pass at the rate drawable slash ic underscore servings okay as you can see it's now here and then under this uh, ic service servings image view i'll add a new text view here and for the width i'll pass match parent and height i'll pass wrap content here let's close this tag and here for the id of this text view i'll pass text view underscore servings i'll change the text size to let's say 14 sp this time and let's add a padding of 8 dp here let's add a demo text uh, let's say two persons for the demo and for the text color i'll pass the color black and as you can see the text 
is on the left side so to make this on the center we will just uh, change its width to wrap content here okay so it's now on the center so similarly we need to add two more uh, for the likes and the time so for this i'll just minimize this linear layout which contains this image view and text view i'll minimize this by clicking on here okay that's it and now we need to copy this two more times so i'll copy this under here two more times and as you can see we got two more items here and now we can just edit them so the second one would be the text view underscore likes okay and for the uh, image we have to create another one so i'll right click on the drawable and create a new uh, vector asset and here i'll search for like okay so thumb up i'll click on this one hit okay i see underscore like and i'll change its color to this one okay and hit next and finish and i'll uh, call this as i see underscore like okay as you can see it's now changed similarly for the third one again i'll call this as a text view underscore time and for the icon again let's create another vector asset let's search for time so i'm going to select this one and hit ok and i'll rename this to ic underscore time and for the color let's select this one okay next finish the image view ic underscore time okay so we got all these items here so our least random recipe is now ready we can close this and now we can start working on our main activity okay but before that as we are using a recycler view we need to create a adapter class for the recycler view so for this i'll create a separate package for the adapters so inside this adapters, I'll create a new Java class. I'll call this as random recipe adapter. Hit enter. This is the random recipe adapter class here. And right after this class, we are, we need to create a view holder class. So I'll write class random recipe view holder. Okay and i'll make this extends the recycler view dot view holder and it's showing an error because we need to create constructor matching super so click on that so that's it that's our uh, constructor so now we need to initialize our views here so let's open this list random recipe that we created right now and from here we need to initialize some views so uh, let's also add an ID to this card view. So I'll go here and I'll add an ID. I'll call this as random underscore list underscore container. Okay. So let's start with this ID. So I'll copy this, go back to this random recipe adapter. And as you can see, this ID is for this card view. So I'll go here create a new card view object and paste the id here okay and after this we have this text view for the title so i'll copy this copy this id of this text view and here i'll create a text view object paste it here and similarly we have this image view image view underscore food i'll copy this and i'll create a new image view object here and paste it here and after that we have this um, text view for the servings so i'll copy this text view servings as you 
as we already have a text view here so i'll just pass it after here with a comma and this text view also and this text view all right so now we need to initialize them all so let's start with this card view so i'll copy this go after this super item view paste it equals item view dot find view by id r dot id dot paste it if you get an error like this hit alt enter error is now gone so after this we will add a semicolon and uh, let's do one thing let's copy this few more times and i'll just uh, change the ids from here so i'll copy this text view title paste it here paste it here text view servings paste paste text view likes paste paste text view time paste paste we have this image view so i'll copy this again image view food image view food image view food all right so we have initialized all of them so now we can start working on our random recipe adapter class so we have to also make this random recipe adapter class extends the default adapter class of recycler view so for this i'll make this extends the recycler view dot adapter and here we have to pass the view holder class here so we have this random recipe view holder i'll copy this and paste it here it's showing an error because we need to implement some methods so i'll click on implement methods we'll select all of this and hit ok so as you can see here we got all these three methods the on create view holder on bind view holder and on sorry get item count so here at first we have to create some objects inside our random recipe adapter so the first object is uh, context sorry context i'll call this as context and the second one is a list of recipe and i'll call this as list here and then we need to create a constructor so i'll right click here click on generate click on constructor select both of them and click on ok so here is our constructor and now let's start working on the on create view holder so here instead of returning null we will return a new random recipe view holder and here i'll pass the layout inflator dot from context dot uh, inflate r dot layout dot list underscore random underscore recipe the second one is the parent and third one is false okay and for the on bind view holder let's work on this later so uh, for the get item count i'll pass list dot size okay so now let's work on this on bind view holder at first i'll write holder dot uh, text view title dot set text and here we'll get the title from the list so i'll write list dot get from position dot uh, title okay and as we need to give this title text view a horizontal scrolling effect so i'll write holder dot text view title dot set selected to true and after that i'll write holder dot uh, text view likes dot set text and here uh, let's write list dot get from position dot aggregate likes and we'll add a new string with it or append a new string with it i'll write space likes okay and then for the text view servings dot set text i'll write list dot get from position dot uh, servings plus i'll write 
let's say let's say servings okay and then for the holder dot uh, text view time dot set text list dot get from position um, dot uh, ready in minutes plus space uh, minutes okay so this is for all the text views and now we need to populate this image view with the uh, image of that particular meal so for this i'll call picasso dot get dot uh, load and here for the url of this image i'll call list dot get from position dot image okay and then i'll write dot uh, into and here for the view i'll write holder dot image view food okay so that's it for the on bind view holder so our adapter class is now done now we can work on our main activity so i'll go to our main activity here so but before starting our work on main activity we have to add the internet permission often i forget about that so let's add that so to add this i'll go into our manifest file and read manifest.xml and inside here i'll define the internet permission uses permission internet internet android permission dot internet close this tag so make sure you add this permission to your manifest file okay so now let's start working on our main activity so here at first we need some objects at first we'll get the progress dialog i'll call this as dialog then we need the object for request manager i'll call this as manager then we need an object for the uh, random recipe adapter i'll call this as random recipe adapter okay and again we'll create an object for the recycler view recycler view i'll call this as recycler view okay so now let's uh, initialize them so at first inside the activity main i'll initialize the dialog so i'll write dialog equals new uh, progress dialog for the context i'll pass this here and then dialog dot set title i'll write loading okay and then we'll to initialize the manager so i'll write manager equals new request manager and we have to pass the context so i'll pass this here okay and then i'll write manager dot uh, get random recipes and here we need to pass the listener so let's create the listener here so i'll create a private final um, random recipe response listener i'll call this as uh, random recipe response listener okay equals new random recipe response listener all right so this one and we need to add a semicolon at the end okay so let's pass this random random recipe response listener object to our get random recipes parameter all right and after this we'll show our dialog so i'll write dialog dot show okay so we have added these two now we need to work on the recycler view with the adapter so when we'll get our response on the dit fetch we'll show that to the on the recycler view and if we get error we will just show a toast message with the error message so i'll write toast and here for the context i'll pass main activity dot 
this and for the text I'll pass the message that we are getting from the parameter so message all right and for the did fetch at first we'll initialize our recycler view so I'll let recycler view equals find view by id r dot id dot recycler underscore random and let's set has fixed size to this recycler view let's also add the layout manager new grid layout manager context and then the span count is one okay so the context is showing an error because we should pass as main activity dot this okay error is now gone and let's go to a new line here and now we need to uh, create the adapter so the adapter class's name was random recipe adapter so i'll write random recipe adapter equals new random recipe adapter and we need to pass the context and the list of recipe so for the context i'll pass main activity dot this and for the list i'll write response dot recipes okay so that's it response dot recipes and now we need to add this uh, adapter to our recycler view so for this here i'll go to a new line and i'll let recycler view dot set adapter and i'll pass this random recipe adapter right here okay so i guess that should work so let's run our application to see the changes i'll click on run here let's wait for it to finish okay so our app is working but our progress dialog was showing still so to disable the dialog so once we get the response on the did fetch we can dismiss our dialog so i'll write dialog dot dismiss okay so let's run our application again as you can see it says loading and here we got the response okay here is the image of that particular recipe with the name name with a score uh, with a horizontal scrolling effect uh, the image of that dish and the total amount of serving the total amount of likes and the time required to make this dish okay so that's it for the video in the next part we will add more features to this application and thank you so much for watching